Hi everyone, Missy back with step two of Welcome to P5JS. In this step, we'll sign up for an account, then learn how to remix and create a P5JS project in Replit. There are a few ways to write code using P5JS. There's a P5 web editor located on their site, a text editor on your local machine, and one we'll explore today, Replit. We favor this because it's a free, collaborative, browser-based editor that supports multiple programming languages. Let's unpack that a bit. An IDE, or Integrated Development Environment, is an application that has compiled all the tools and resources we need to code and test our projects. At Girls Who Code, we use an IDE called Replit. It's a pretty cool tool because we can program right in the browser window, easily run our program, share code, and collaborate on a project just like we would in a Google Doc. We also like it because it works better with screen readers than most browser-based editors. Let's get you set up with your own Replit account. You can follow along with us or watch the video first, then complete the to-do list section. First, we'll go to the Replit homepage and click sign up. See the link in the documentation section below. You can create an account or sign up with your Google account. If at any time during our work you forget your password, no worries. From the login page, you can enter your username and select the forget password link to reset it. Once we're logged in, our landing page will look something like this. On the left hand side of the screen, you'll see the navigation toolbar. Here are the links we'll be using the most. Click on the account name to access your profile, account settings, or log out of Replit. Select the Create REPL shortcut button to begin a new project. My REPLs take you to your folder system where you can access your projects. Click the Home button to come back to the main page. Notifications are there to help you see all your notifications in one place, like if someone left a comment. Ready to code? There are two ways to get started. We can fork a project or create a new one. Let's start with forking. This means we'll make a copy of an existing project so we can change it. For example, if we are working on an activity with starter code, then we'll want to fork it. First, click the link on the code you want to fork. We'll use the starter code link. This will take you to the cover page. Next, click the fork button in the top right corner. This will copy the entire project to our account so we can make changes to it. But if we want to create a brand new project, all we have to do is select Create REPL from the navigation toolbar we saw earlier. Next, select P5JS as the template. Then let's click the title of the project and change it to This is my P5 project, dash, first name, last initial. Okay, cool. One thing here, do not use your last name for privacy reasons. This will help protect you and make sure your project is approved for our project gallery. We cannot publish it if it contains your last name anywhere in the title, code, or site of any projects. And finally, click Create Project to create your project. That's it for step two. In the next step, we'll check out the code editor interface in Replit. 